Welcome to Eat Treat Love. Come on in. Here are my personal recommendations for manifesting love. We have our Rose Quartz Lavender Diffuser. Hmm, this is our top seller. A wonderful crystal rose quartz sphere that you can just feel all the energy of love. And of course, for the candle lovers, we also have it here. Rose quartz points is the number one thing that you should have at your home. And that's my personal recommendations for manifesting love. Visit us online or visit us at e Love in Los Angeles. Hi Leos, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Welcome to the show. Oh, it's not a show. Welcome to the store. Um, I'm, re I'm recording from my store in Studio City. So if you are ever around the area, make sure to pass by and visit. So let's begin over here. I'm using the Lemuria deck. It's right here. And also the Tarot Vintage. My choice of uh, selection. There's a grand reveal. And then I'm also using the New Orleans Oracle deck. Okay, my fave also. Let's begin. What's going on with the Leos? Has Leo gotten any good reading recent? I can't remember actually. Well, the full moon just happened in your zodiac. So how did that feel? Uh, how was it? Good, not so good. It was about it was in Magha Nakshatra, you know, so can be, um, they call it, uh, I believe this is where the Pitris were sitting, our ancestors, right? So you may have received some blessings, guidance uh, from, you know, people from your, um, how to call this, from your past life. Mm -hmm. Let me see what's going on. The Leos. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So I feel like you're rushing um, a commitment you're trying to get there. I want it. I want it now. This is how I feel. Eight of Wands with the Hierophant. It feels like I just want the connection to manifest right now. Mm -hmm. Like whatever it takes. If I have to travel, I have to, to see them. Then this is flight, Eight of Wands. That's why there's um, that angel over there. But it's also dating online. You could be rushing right now, you know, swiping left, swiping right, up, down, left, right, everything. So, as long as I, I match with someone. Um, with the Eight of Wands and the Hierophant, it feels like there is a union that is going to be manifesting, but it would be coming from you. Meaning you work hard for it, you're dedicated, you're really going to be putting a focus on this connection. Now, you have a person who is, uh, I feel like, stuck somewhere. Whatever they're going through, they're not really as, um, as open as like, what, like you are. You have a person who can be flaky. You have a person who can be in and out of your life, talking to you one day and then maybe two, three days you get a reply. It doesn't bother you though. Um, I feel like with the page of ones here and the five cups, you feel, you know how they operate. This is who they are. Like, well, this is just how they operate. I know. I'm aware of that. Okay. You have the moon, the hangman, the sun, and the five, four of cups. Okay. There's a feeling of... Um, like discontent, not on you, but on them. I just saw that. Um, you feel that right now, it's best... Let me see what's best here. It's best for you to just step back, analyze the situation, figure things out, and then talk to them again. So you're waiting for a good time. Like, oh, when was the best time to talk to them? Maybe in the morning, at night, or when they're... When they've eaten already. So you're assessing the situation on, you know, in a different perspective where you want to give them the space if they want to. You're not going to be, I feel like you're not going to be, hmm. You're not forcing the situation because you know that if you do, you can be rejected by this person. So you're 
what that uh, treading in water not treading in what is that i don't know like you're walking on thin ice with this person okay because you have the hangman and the moon a lot of a lot for you to think about moon and hangman it's like oh let me think about this i'm not sure if it's gonna be good or not but yeah you have the sun and the four of cups on their end um they're happy to see you they're very ecstatic this is a person who's like Oh, I can't wait to see the Leo, but I also reject the Leo when they're talking to me. So now you see that there is duality here. When you're hot towards them, they're cold towards you, then, then nothing really comes through, okay? Um, this person, again, is feeling stuck somewhere in their life. They cannot move forward. I'm not sure what's causing this blockage on their end. You have the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups, and the Tower. So now you find this, of course, this connection. It's like, man, this is such a lot of work, right? Ace of Wands to the Ten of Wands. It's just me who's really initiating every time. It's only me who's really putting effort. Like every day, it's just me. And it gets ty tiring when you're the only one. Now, um... You have the Ten of Cups and the Tower with this person. They really want to manifest this, but they feel that they're not enough. The Ten of Cups and the Tower. I'll get more for the Leos. Because they're feeling right now, it's just like, well, what can I do? See, they put you in this pedestal of an Empress. Like the Leo is just the Temperance. He's just perfect for them. So any for them, it's like, this is such an ideal partner, but I'm not an ideal partner. That's their own story. Like, do I even deserve someone like this? Empress and the temperance. You have money, your financial is stable, or you're the temperance, you have, you have spiritual belief. You're just the works for this person. So instead of them making that move, so this becomes a, you know, a blessing and a curse on your end. You working on yourself, you doing the healing, you doing all this manifestation to bring your vibe up becomes a hindrance for meeting someone, right? Because Knight of Pentacles with the priest, the High Priestess, it doesn't go anywhere with this person. Everything that you thought you can have with them, all of a sudden just stop. Nothing. Nothing manifested, basically. Now here, you're with the Temperance. You're looking at it. Like, maybe this can still work out. I'm going to see if it's going to work out with the Temperance. These are my Grand Reveal cards. Um, let me see why they stopped talking to you also with the High Priestess. Because with the Tower and the High Priestess, they're keeping their silence and they're having mixed emotions right now. Okay, so someone is not understanding, okay, should I, shouldn't I? But in when they shut down on you, they also know that they're putting a period to this connection. So let me see the Tower, is it over? Because this is a person who you have a good connection and then all of a sudden they went, um, what do you call that? Absent without leave. A wool, basically. Let me see the sun card then, because they're putting you as a focus. I mean, are you still the focus of this person's life? Because they have the sun card. And what's going uh, through their mind right now about love? Because they do have the ten of cups. So is this something that they really want, or you're just getting mixed signals from this person? Mm -hmm. Relationships are like Wi-Fi. That's what I always say. You have to have a strong signal. And if it's not, then you just have to steal from your neighbor. <laughs> Meaning date someone else. Catch my drift over there. Because if they're not giving you four bars and you're getting one bar, you know that it's going to be like uploading, tit, 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 buffering, tit, tit, tit. You know, it takes the, the relationship takes longer to work because there's no, it's a mixed signal. So who are we really, you know, um, dealing with right now? So that's how I feel like with this person. They're strong, weak, strong, weak. The connection is just like, sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not there. Sometimes they want it, sometimes they don't want it. So it's really like this person is all over the place kind of person. It's like, do you really want the Leo basically? And you're here with the Empress, enjoying financial stability with the Empress. Like you're looking gorgeous. You've done the work. Let's see what's coming to you also. Maybe there's finances here with the Empress. Maybe there's a career because Empress with the Ace of Wands, there's also business creativity that you're manifesting. Ace of Wands is a project. You may be working with something creative or online, Etsy, blog, YouTube, social media. That's the Ace of ones so i'm gonna see that also now with the hierophant i want to see where are you going to be in a relationship then because you're manifesting it with the hierophant okay so all these are the grand reveal questions i'm going to continue this reading everything will be 
revealed, and then more from the Tarot and the Oracle. So we'll reshuffle, we'll see more, um, and it's going to be in the description box below for the extended. Make sure to check us out at eTreadLove.me. Download my app, eTreadLove, available in Apple and Android, and then what else? Um, or just visit us at uh, our website. And of course, this lovely store in Studio City. Okay, so I'll see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, Leos. Bye.